so uh, so we have seen so far some of the pratyas but i think by now you know how the krit pratyaya or what is the krit pratyaya and how it works or general idea i think you know the krit pratyayas are added to dhatus to form pratipadikam and the resulting pratipadikam is used in different uh senses or contexts like uh, we have yat pratyaya we have seen that or pravyatanya etc we have seen like which are used to indicate something that should be or ought to be done so that was one like tavatani or then 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 there are other uh pratyayas which are used in the bhava or the sense of the dhatu itself for example there is a chala dhatu and we add a uh, lut pratyaya then it comes becomes chalana patana etc the chalana patana means the act of moving the chalana act of reading the patana etc so that is in the sense or bhava of that dhatu itself so and there could be some krit pratyaya which are used in the to in the sense of a karta karta the one who is doing the act like uh, kurvati kurvana shatru shana chardar uh, uh, the those pratyayas they are applied in the sense of karta so this general idea we have that pratyayas are added to dhatus to form a pratipadikam in different which can be used in different context so with that uh, we can go faster now just to get an overall idea of these some more good things so there are more than 150 pratyayas which uh, i'm going to look at all of them you can find them in different karana uh, granthas uh, here are some of the examples which are given here and even in this book just on the book here also if you go towards the end of the pratyaya tatanta prakarana then you will see a table here which is helpful here summary of krutta vrutti krut derivatives so one pratyaya example is given here yat kya punya tattvya niyar karmani bhave additional sense what sense it is used basic sense okay. examples are also given because it is a this yat kapnatta vaniya there are used as associationum all three genders yeah they are the atrichonol quip in kartru examples given here arakta nishtha nishtha type tatvato nishtha karmani tatri shatrashana ch vartamane pachat prishan labhamana etc then we have 
other type of other pratyas, ganyat and pratyas. Summary. So here, similarly, I tried to try to list here some of the pratyas which we have studied or which we are going to look at. One is the Vyat, the sutra for the main sutra. The other additional sutras needed to come to the final derivative of the word, but the main sutra applicable for that or related to that fifth pratya is shown here. Tavyat, 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 tavyani, raha, gantavya, example, near, same. Sutra, gamaniya, example, yat, acho, yat, neya, 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 tetra, net, or net, karya, vacha. Kyap, Eti, Stu, Shas. This is the main one, Stutya, Shishya. Then we have Nul, Nul, Chachau, Karakanayaka, and Truch, Dham, Kaptur, Bhaktur, etc. Look at, uh, you can look at Liu, I'm not sure. That it last time, but we can look at it again. Liu, Liu, the sutra is Nandigrahi Pachadi Pyo Lini Nyachaha. So, the, this sutra is applicable to, sorry, it, it defines, it has three Krit Pratyas Liu, Nini, Ach, right? Liu, Nini, Liu, Nini, and Ach, three Pratyas. So what this, it is, Nandi Grahi Pachadi Bhyo, Liu, Nini, Acha, Nandi Grahi. So what it is saying that uh, Nandi Adehe Lihu. So these Nandi Adi means Nandi Ityadi Dhatubhya Lihu Iti Pratyaha Vidhiyate. Nandi etc. Dhatus are there. For them Lihu Pratyaya is applied and Graha etc. dhatus grahi so graha why is it grahi okay grahi grahi graha etc. dhatus the nini pratyaya and pach etc. for those dhatus what pratyaya ach pratyaya so when we say etc., what is this etc.? Anyani dhatavah santi iti. Anyani dhatavah santi asmin eshu ganeshu. So these are gana, gana patha. So there are three ganas which are quoted, which are uh, referenced here. One is Nandiyadi Gana and Grahadi Gana, Pachadi Gana. Gana means group. So the dhatus, some dhatus, not all dhatus, some dhatus are placed into these ganas, not those ten ganas, that uh, vadi gana, etc. These are different gana, vadi, churadi, etc. Those are, those are, uh, those ganas are based on Vikarana Pratyaya. What we can apply comes and based on that, the dhatus are categorized into ten ganas. So those dasha ganas are different, but here there are other ganas also, which uh, we can find in a gana patha, which is supposedly written by or composed by Panini. So gana patha, 
So in that Ganapatha, we find some Ganas, some words are just class, uh, put into these different groups. So this Ganapatha is very important, uh, which is a supplement or complementary composition to Ashtadhyay. So Ashtadhyay refers to different such Ganas from this Ganapatha in different sutras. So this is a must for to understand the some of the Ashtadhyay sutras. So here Nandi Grihi Pachadi Bhyo Lyon Ninya Chaha. Here uh, Nandi etc. The Gana, one Gana starts with Nandi etc. The other Gana starts with the Graha, starting with the Graha uh, Dhatu, or Grahi Dhatu here. And then uh, Pacha, that is another third Gana. Uh, so, what happens here, Liu? Let's look at the first one, Liu. Nandi, etc. for these dhatus, uh, which are in the Nandi Gana. To that, Liu is applied. Liu is applied. Hmm. When we apply, take the first dhatu only, Nanda. Nanda Dhatu, when we applied Liu, in this Liu, what remains? Anubandhalopanantaram. The additional letters here are L, here in the, in L and U. There are two letters here in the Liu. L is, goes away. No, la is go, la goes away. What is the purpose of la? It is, it is for the purpose of swara, which we'll see a little bit later. So la goes away. You remains there, and what happens to you now? What happens to know? Uh, you. So other sutra comes into picture. What sutra? Yuvoranakau. Uh, Yuvoranakau. So what happens to Yuvoranakau now? Nanda plus you. So what did the Yuvoranakau say, saying? Yuvoranakau. Yuvoranakau. And? Ustane Akka. Okay. So here in this there are two words here. U and U. U O Ho Ana Akau. So U in place of U, Ana is replaced. And in place of U, Akka is replaced. In this case, Nanda plus U, we have a uh, U here. So in place of U, we are going to bring Ana. So we have Nanda plus Ana. So it becomes Nandana. Nandana. Nandana means what? Gopalanandana. Devaki Nandana. Vasudeva Nandana. Yashoda Nandana. Kausalya Nandana. Nandana means? What is the meaning of Nandana? Yeah? Santosham. Kim Karoti? Rishim Karoti. Santosham. Santosham Dadati. It is Nandana. Nandayati. It is Nandana. Nandayati. Nandayati means Nandanam. 
Nandana, where I use Nandana, that is a different uh, like uh, Gamana, that is a different uh, Here Nandana, here we are using it as a Visheshanam. Nandana generally one who gives a happiness, generally used for Putra or Putri. Also, there is a Nandana Vana, Nandana Vana in Nandana Vana in Indra Loka. Like we have Kamadhi, you know, Kalparuksha in Indra Loka, there is a Nandana Vana. Because Vana, it is referring to Vana, which is a Naposakalinga Shabdaha Padam. So, to refer to that, Nandana Vanam or just Nandanam can be used. Nandanam with the Lyu. Satya. Like we have Nandana in Pulinga, in the Ponsukalingam, Nandanam. All the other examples here uh, for Liu. So we'll have to, we can look at the, anybody can look at the group there or Gana. But there could be, Gana is okay, but there could be some exceptions there also, some words which might not be in that Gana. But still, this uh, some of these liu, ni, nini, acha, acha, these might be still applicable. So the gana it, itself may not, it, it could be incomplete or it's just an indicative gana. You know, it's just a, uh, examples. But outside that gana, there could be some dhatus which where such satyas can still be we can find words where these pratyara are still applied. But anyway, there are some other examples here. We have um, Madana. Madana. So here Madhathatu, Madhyati, but now Madhyati is, is in the Original dhatu, but one who is giving you mother is madayati. Madayati, that is a nijanta rupam. So madayati. So here madayati means one who gives you mother. What is mother? Mother is like what? Arpa? Not, um... Is it intoxication? Yeah. Oh, yeah, intoxic, yeah. madana. So here we have madana, huh? madana, huh? it's one who gives you that intox intoxication or that kick. So the madana is usually used for whom? To kama deva, kama, huh? madana. Huh? Uh, then we have a Dushana. Dushana. Dushadhatu Dushana. Dushana means one who uh, pollutes something. Dushana. So is it now related to this Pradushana? So it's similar meaning. Ah, Uh, 
and doshana uh i think we lost you for well, at least i could hear you for a second or two okay so khara doshana example one given is khara doshana in uh, ramayana there are two characters uh, who are who were related to ravana doshana doshana was one of them who was killed by rama so there the doshana is also like we have madana doshana that name of doshana is also due to uh, no new it is a dio pratya doshana similarly sadhana sadhana sadhayati iti sadhana or sadhanam one who makes you something possible sadhayati sadhana and vardhayati one which makes something to go grow is vardhana vardhana like krishna vardhana shobhayati iti shobhana one who makes you make something shine is shobhana so mahodaya so we are just, this you is mostly used in this like causative sense yes yes correct निजंत निजंत शोभयति इति शोभनः द एक्ट ऑफ शाइनिंग इज डिफरेंट दैट हैज अ डिफरेंट प्रत्यय व्हिच साउंड सिमिलर दैट हैज अ डिफरेंट प्रत्यय कॉल्ड युट व्हिच व्हिच बिकम्स एन अपोंसक लिंग लाइक शोभनम शोभनम मींस द एक्ट ऑफ शाइनिंग लाइक गमनम but if it is something which is making shine, to shine that is shobhana then uh, rochayati is also rochanam roj ruch dhatu nijanta becomes rochayati ruch means what preeti when uh, ruchi ruch means you have a taste in something taste means you have you have interest in something right ruchi so we have <coughs> rocha yati means one which makes you uh, interested in it rocha yati so there rochana is one word one which makes you interested how can we differentiate anaka rochaka api bhavati va ah rochaka so there is, yes rochaka is also there okay which other different pratyaya rochana ha then we have sahana ha sahana so here sahana some of the words like sahana is may not be nijanta related sahate iti sahana this can all now previously we have rochayati means one who makes you interested in rochana one who makes you intoxicated that is madana etc here these could be some examples here which themselves are kartaya like sahana one who tolerates is sahana sahana then we have tapyate iti tapyate iti tapana one who burns he is tapana in this example it is surya tapana
then uh, there are other examples just uh, interesting here one is jalpati 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 means what too much hmm yes uh, chat chats chat, chats too much jalpati jalpana one who talks jalpanam karoti ti jalpana nan ramate iti ramana ramana one who enjoys ramate iti ramana Hmm. Another one important, I think, example here is Darpanaha. Darpana is what mirror. So here the dhatu is a drip, drip, drip dhatu. From that darpa has come right the darpa. From drip. Uh, darpa means what is darpa? your ego right ego here dappana which uh, makes you to or itself actually here itself is um Fake prestige. Uh, prestige. Fake prestige. Fake prestige. Uh. Okay, darpa ego. So the, this will uh, reflect your ego. Just darpa na. Okay. Uh, it will, which will make by looking at it, you'll feel uh, better, right? or you'll feel yourself. That ahankara. Ahankara means it has. Two different meanings. Your ahamkara, ahamkara, ahamkara means your ego, which is actually ego. But ego has two connotations, right? which is like a bad. So you should not be egoistic or something. But in 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 the meaning of self-awareness is also ego, which is not bad. Self-awareness, which is just a characteristic, kona dharma, or a tattva of uh, one of the tattvas, maybe. Universe, ahankara. Everybody has a ahankara. Ahankara means self-awareness. So that it, it, this darpana shows your that ahankara, your self, your self. Okay. Then, uh, sankarshana. That version, that word karshana, like Vishnu Arthana, your sankarshana is also coming from karsha. Krushatatu, Karshatiti, Sankarshana. One whom Akarshat, Akarshati, Akarsh means he attracts Sankarshana or pulls towards him. Gravity, Sankarshana. One of the, the names of Balarama, Krishnasya Agraja, Sankarshana, which is referenced as the Sheshanagra, Sheshaha. Shesha itself means gravity, actually. In the Ramayanam, also, Lakshmana is referred as. Sheshasya Vataraha Sheshanaga Sheshasya Vataraha If you remember that in in, in the Yuddha Lakshmana once got unconscious by Ravana's Bana Ravana tries to lift him and because this is just an interpretation 
because his gravity or gravity abhimani for gravity sankarshana that ravana cannot overcome that gravitational pull he cannot lift him he cannot lift some the body of lakshmana then the next one is janardana so what, what was the dhatu mahoday which one Krish. 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 so is it now this uh, is it similar to this krishaka like this scratching or this? yes yes scratching yeah it is scratching but with the uh, it is scratching but karsh it has also with the adha a upasarga sam upasarga it has a uh, pulling meaning pulling ah uh, okay pulling okay this karshana when we when they do karshana they actually pull and make the scratch right krishi yeah then we have janardana ardha dhatu ardha dhatu me ardha ardha dhatu is nusa nusa means killing or something so ardha yati the churadi dhatu and then Ardh, ardhana ardhana one who kills one who destroys janardana janan ardayati he kills people janam is not only people anything which is born ja, jana is something born so janardana janma one whatever is has taken birth it is destroyed by this janardana so in praya kala one who destroys everything is janardana or one who cannot interpret that as one who destroys janma bandhana samsara bandhana is also janardana hmm. मधुसूदन सूद सूद धातु चुरादि सूदयति मधुम सूदयति इति मधुसूदन सूदन मनो किल्स वि सूदन हियर मधुसूदन रेफरिंग टू कृष्ण कृष्ण मधुसूदन मनो किल्स मधु ने ಸಸನೆಯಂಬಳ ಮಧು ಮಧು ನಾಮಕ ದಾಕ್ಷಸ ಸೂದಯತಿ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ದನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿಭೀಷಣ ಈ ಧಾತು ವಿಭೇತಿ ವಿ ಉಪಸರ್ಗಪೂರ್ವಕ ಭೀಷಣ ಭೀಷಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹು uh one who makes you scared scary vishana the person not the act of scaring here vishana is the one who who is scary is vishana so with the v upasarga vishesham visheshana vishesha rupena bhi bhishanam karoti vishayati iti ವಿಭೀಷಣ ವಿಭೀಷಣ ಯಂಗರ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾವಣ ಹು ಫಾಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕೇಮ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಂಕಾ ಲೇಟರ್ vinashana something who, who something who destroys anything is vinashana papa vinashana papa nashana papam nasheti ti papa nashana damana shatru damana 
Damana ha. Shatrum damayati. Here also there is a niche, nishanta. Shatrum damayati iti shatru damana ha. The next one I heard, Nini, Nini, <laughs> so the other example which uh, Lavana for Leo. It was Lavanasura, that was its name also. Lavanaha is a rasa visheshant. Rasa, the taste of salt is Lavanaha. The, the substance salt itself is Lavanam, that is an aponsa kalingam. But the Lavanaha is the taste of that, is Lavanaha. The one, the one which makes you salty. Lavana. Or one who cuts also. One who cuts. Lavana is coming from the Ludhatu, which means cut lunati, is cutting. So, Lavanaha is one which cuts what? With its taste, it cuts your tongue. Too much. Okay. So, uh, Nini Nini Dhat Nini of Pratya is applied to Dhatus Graha Adi Grahadi. The first one is Graha. So in this uh, Nini, what remains there? This is this comprises na in e. So it and e they go away. So what remains is in So here in remains here na and in. So only in remains there. So what happens now? Graha plus in. Anybody? So we have seen the previously the the pratyas which are which had na in them. Example. Grahin bhavatu. Net. We have seen net. In case in case of net, what happened? Mm. Hello, net. Hello. For example, Kru. Kru was one of them, right? Kru plus Net. So what comes here? Kar. Kar, yeah. Kar, yeah. So Kram. how did Kar came? Because we are now going away, so going away, and it is only here remains there. And crew plus year, 
And because there is no there is a vruddhi, karya. So where there is no na, you have to think of vruddhi possibility. The na is added in the upasarga, sorry, in the pratyayas to enable it for vruddhi. So here, graha plus in. So here, after removing na and e, so we have a in, but in the pratyay itself, in the original pratyay is na, and the purpose of na is to enable the vruddhi karya in in the process. So here, the vruddhi is going to happen in the uh, akara, which is upadha, which is before the last letter. There is akara, uh, graha. So graha, there is a a before that ha. So that is going to become ruddhi. What is ruddhi of a? Graha. Akara. So we got graha and in. So we have grahin. The pratifarikam. Grahin. <coughs> Grahin Pratipadikam in the Pullinga Pratama Bhakti, Grahi, like we have Vidyarthi, etc., or Guni, Guni, Guni. So we have a Grahin, Grahi. Grahi means what? One which. So these are coming basically in the few. Liu, Nini, Ach, these are coming in the sense of. So we have Sivardhana, one who gives you, makes you happy. And here, Grahi, one, Grahadhatu means what? To grab. Grahadhatu. 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 Grahi, one who grabs or catches something is Grahi. For the other examples, sthāyī, tishthati iti sthāyī, sthādhātu, yudhanini, then we have sthāyī. Tishthati, sthā plus in, sthāyī, sthā plus in, the yakāra is also coming there. It is, not, it is just not tha e, right? It is tha e. That e, yakara is coming. And for, to support that is another different sutra. So tha e is the one who uh, stands. Then uh, mantra yate iti mantri mantranam karoti iti mantri or mantra yate iti mantri. What is mantrana? Thinking. Uh, thinking or like um, you know what this ministers do? Mantri. It's the internally discussions discussion that is. Mantri uh, in Mantrin it is Pratipatikam Mantri Bhakti. Then uh Nivasati iti Nivasi Nivasin Nivasi 
I'm just giving it up to Tamaya Vikti Rupam. Otherwise, Prati Pitakram is Nivasin. Nivasi, then we have Utsahi, Utsahate, Utsahate, iti, Utsahi. It also Guna is happening. Sanyasi Mati Tadeva Sanyasi. Sanyasi? Yeah. I like to see. Because the, the challenge is the swara. Because the swara you don't really can be sure of what Uh, Pratyaya is applied. Next Pratyaya. The Pratyaya also which could come to the same thing. Uh, okay, so Utsahi. Yeah. Then there is a Aparadhi. Aparadhin. Aparadhi. Radha Dhatu Aparadhyati Iti Divadi Ganiya Dhatu Radhyati Apa Upasarga Aparadha means Aparadha Anybody? Aparadha Dhatu Kimode Dhatu Radha Radha, okay. Radha. Hmm. Aparadhi, Niraparadhi, Tadeva. Hmm. What is the meaning in English? Uh, Aparadha. Who, who does something wrong? Hmm. Aparam Bhadrati hmm? Aparam Bhadrati These are the main examples here. Uh, another interesting example here. Ustrakoshi. Koshati means Roshati means Roshan. Roshan. Roshati means he cries. Ustrako uh, Kroshi, Ustra Kroshi. Here Kroshin, here also Nini Pratea. Ustra Iva Kroshati. He cries or makes sound like Ustra or like a camel <coughs> is Ustra Kroshi. Another example. You can use that maybe with any other Upama. But here in the Vakarana Granteshu, that example you is Ustra Kroshi, one who cries or makes sound like a camel. How do they make sound camels? Yeah. 
the next one is ach ach is a very important one because many of the any examples we use any words we use that end in ach in the ach pachadibhyo dhatubhya achudhiyate pach etc the gana starting with pach the dhatu gana starting with pach a group starting with pach the ach uh, pratyaya is applied can be applied so here in the ach cha goes away only a remains what is the purpose of cha it is again for swara purpose we'll see that swara a little later now here aja this is yeah in the ach only a remains again in the sense of karta this is applied like liu and nini we have karta artha like vartana nini we have grahi utsahi etc so rachya dhatu so first first is pach let's apply that to pach itself pach plus a this is pach this is the pratikadikam pratama sorry pullinga ekada pratama ekachan vikam pacha uh pacha pacha means pachati iti pacha so the alternate form we have pachaka also uh, the different uh, pratyaya the meaning is same pachati iti pacha one who cooks is pacha similarly you have vapaha vap 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 bijam vapati one who sows seeds is vap uh, vapaha then uh, vakti iti vachaha one who reads vachaha so here vachaka also like pachaka that is also the same meaning that you hear we are applying a different pratyaya to get this form of the word vachaha then vadaha one who says something is vadaha then chalaha chalati iti chalaha one who walks he chalaha or moves chalaha pataha one who falls is pataha patati iti pataha vasati iti vasaha one who lives is vasaha one who burns is tapaha one who does tapasya is tapaha then achi achpratti halantu dadutah bhavati va halantu dhatu there is no such provision or no nothing defined like that okay the pratyaya yeah, itself is ajadi then another example let's see example said chalaha we saw then we uh, have one who jwalati one who uh, jwalanam karoti jwalaha alantadhatha the ajantadhatu example is here dava dudhatu 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 
do means going. So here, uh, dava with the ach applied to it, it becomes do plus ach dava. Do plus ach. Okay, gonna bhavati. Okay. Dava. Dava means one who gives you uh, kashta problems. Or if you remember, dava is also used like dava agni. Dava word is also there, but dava is also dava is with a different pratyaya. Dava is with this ach pratyaya. Dava means the uh, forest fire. Oh, okay. Then ni dhatu, with ni we have nayaha. Nayaha. And this you generally see with pra upasarga. Pra plus nayaha, pranayaha. Pranayaha means preeti. Pranayaha. Preeti, prema, prema. Okay, so we have a graha, graha dhatu, we have seen with uh, mini, with grahin, but with graha, ach can be applied and it becomes graha. We know what is graha. Graha means? Uh, one who grabs, one who captures kind of thing like you, which, which is generally used for the planets or not only planets actually, planet is an English equivalent, but anything which is Akashakaya, which is affecting our uh, our life here, right? And Surya is also Graha, Chandra is also Graha, so technically in in the astronomy, they are not planets, but they are graha in the Jyotish. So, so they are Chandra. Sutri, Sutri, Nandi, Grahi, Pacharibyo, Liu, Liu, Yinin, and Nin, Echeha, Ache, Ache. Grahi um, takes both. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because many, many are like, uh, many take multiple that, yeah. Then why they, they give this sutram? <laughs> why this give sutra? Sutra is mainly, mainly that is applied. That is also applied. So, but it is not, uh, um, strict. It can. Yes, it is not strict. This is very clear. Many uh, Vakarana, Vakyanas or Bhashyas, they make it very clear. This, these are not strict. These are not strict and not only strict, but even the, there are dhatus which do not, are not listed in these ganas. They also can have these uh, patyas. Another example is Bhu Dhatu, Bhu Ach Bhavaha. Bhavaha. Bhavaha means for one who exists in Bhavaha. That is a literal meaning, which is used for like a Deva, like Bhavaha. Or it can be all, it is also used uh, to indicate samsara, bhava bandhana, is what samsara bandhana, bhava bandhanam nasayati.
Mm. Then there are uh, other examples here. Uh, Karaha is also there. Kru plus Achu Karaha. But now we have King Karaha. King Karaha. King King Karaha. King Karaha means one whom. The Seva Kahiti Artha. So generally this Karaha means doing. Kara, kara, kara is crew is doing right. So these uh, people who are awaiting your instructions, Kim, Kim, right? They are asking, they are waiting for your instruction. Kim, Kim karo, Kim karwani ham. What should I do? So they are awaiting your instructions. That is Kim karaha. So it's used. This word is used for uh, sevaka, awaiting your instruction. Kim karaha. Kinkara it is Sevika. Or Kinkari is also. Kinkari means different. Kinkara is different. So here there is some uh, nuance here. Kinkara ha pullinga we know that. Kinkara is Sevika, the service woman. Kinkari if it is Dirkha Ikara and the Kinkari, that means it is the wife of Kinkara. Sevaka is Kinkari. We have Arraha, Pujarraha, yeah, Pujarraha. Uh, there are a couple of other words which are interesting. One is Tambe Ramaha. I think we have come across this word in Raghavansha or something. Tambe Ramaha. Ramadhatu Achu, we have Ramaha. Seen that before Ramana in the Liu also, but here Archa applying Rama. Stamba plus Rama. So here with the Stamba, there is a sutra with Stamba and Karana, Rama and Japa. When I read, they take Archa as the uh, Archa as the Pratya. Here Stambe Ramaha. So here no Stambe Ramaha. Here not stamba ramaha, stambe ramaha, the stambe remains there, the yuhatti remains there, stambe ramaha, stamba means what? It's not a stamba, stamba. Stamba. This stamba. Stamba is like a shrub. So the stamba, one which uh, is happy in the shrubs, it is mainly referred to gaja, so elephant, is stambe ramaha, which uh, is happy when it is among the shrubs, maybe scratching its body against that, etc. Then we have Karane Japa. Japa Dhatu with Achu with the Karana is Karane Japa. Karane Japa means, literally means one who, Japa means whispering. The one who whispers in the ear is Karane Japa, literal. But Karane Japa means one who uh, what is it called in English? One who just Whisper in the ear. Yeah, whisper in the ear, but that's a literal meaning. 
who is first in the year? One who like a um, uh, spreads false news. ಶಂಭವತಿ ಶಂಭವಃ ಶಂಭವ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಕ್ಷಯ ಕ್ಷಯ ಕ್ಷೀ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಕ್ಷೀ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಚಯನ ಕರೋತಿ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಚಿನೋತಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಷಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರಾಶಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅನಿಚಯ ಅನಿಚಯ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರಾಶಿ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಕ್ಷಯ ಕ್ಷಯ ಕ್ಷೀ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಕ್ಷಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಷಯ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ನಿವಾಸ ಕ್ಷಯ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷೀ ಧಾತು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನಿವಾಸ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಲ್ಸೋ so here kshaya means nivas griham iti then one where someone lives kshaya then there is a chaya we saw then ji ji dhatu jaya here also ach jaya then then there is uh, one example here that we yeah let's slight exception exception here g bhi dhatu we have bhayam bhayam means the scare scare it is used in a pose calling not in a pulling air bhayam scare scary thing bhayam or scare itself then the uh, yeah those are the main one charaha we have seen charaha vanu charati iti charaha Charaha means one who wanders, mainly used for uh, human beings, Charaha. And then we have Chalaha. Chalaha means one who moves. It is used for Vahanam or Rathaha. It is same as Chalaha, one who moves. That is, it could be Vahanam also, Chalaha. And then Vadaha, okay, that we saw that. those are the important points as so then uh, charati ah oh, the other one devaha devadhatu ach divadigane devadhatu ach one of signs is devaha ಸ್ತ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ರೂಪಂ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ದೇವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇವನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನದ 
nada thatu nadati iti nadaha nadaha means one who makes sound and strilinga vi hau nadi nadi how is it coming nada thatu acha acha pratyaya nada first then we in the strilinga rupa it becomes nadi the same with chora chora ha chora thatu acha we have chora ha strilinga we have chori Yeah, okay. Let's stop here today. Dhaniya Vada Mahadeya. Dhaniya Vada Mahadeya. Dhaniya Vada Mahadeya. Dhaniya Vada Mahadeya.